Hi, it's Ronnie, and I'm so excited that I get to go back to the future with a punched out Thursday to die for. Yeah, today's November 5th, and if you watch the movie back 1985 or something, I think it was a long time ago, but I have watched it several times since then. Marty McFly went back to 1955 on November 5th, and today's November 5th. But I am not going to go back quite that far. <laughs> my scrappy goodness don't go back that far. But I'm going to go quite a ways. And I'm showing my picture there. And I used a decorative corner punch. Yeah, apparently I started to scrap this photo years ago. <laughs> I mean years ago. And I stuck it back in the bag. And I evidently put it in the closet because that's where I found it. And there is two collections in this bag, and I think I was going to use the pink to scrap my photo. However, <laughs> I'm wanting to use the other collection now. Both are Bobani, and the pink one is 2011, so it's actually older. And the one that I'm going to use is 2012. But it looks like all I actually got done towards the layout was to use the corner punch. And I was showing the corner punch I have laying there and I did not realize till I was showing the corner punch that it's not the same one I used and I cannot find the one I used I might have gave it to my niece I gave her some stuff to get started with and yeah that might be what happened to it I first planned on using that green as my background on the white paper but then I decided I didn't like that <laughs> so I am using it for other things, like my grass. And I did pull out two older, much older, uh, Fisker's punches. And one is the grass, and the other one is one with little tiny flowers on it. And it kind of looks lacy. Since I couldn't find the corner punch, I did cut around the white with my scissors to make it more match. But then I decided to use the punch I like the best. <laughs> and it is that corner punch right there. So I am mixing the past with the future hmm. or rather the then and now and the one of the reasons I wanted to use this collection instead of the other was the border sheet I thought I'd cut them all out and layer them and add some more texture and dimension to my layout whereas the other collection would probably just brought out the pink in their little jackets and that's pretty much it. Well, I think it had some purple in there, too. So their pants are kind of purplish. So, yeah, it would have brought the purple out, too. But this one has got all kinds of other colors it's bringing out in the picture. It's amazing the wonders I found digging in the past. Well, in this case, my closet. <laughs> for something old to use today. And, yeah, all the wonders that was in there. But these are the wonders I decided to work with today, or play, rather play with, play with today. While I'm finishing putting the borders down, uh, I'll mention that down there below will be the gals from the Punched Out Thursday and the gals from the Back to the Future. And they will be doing different things. Some of them might be scrap lifting a layout that they did years ago me i'm finishing a layout i apparently started years ago and didn't do anything with and no telling what other ideas there are there but they might be pulling tools out even from years ago like i'm doing too so yeah check out their layout see what they're doing and of course the punched out thirsty gals check them out and see what tools they're using today if they're using their punches or their dies or if they're using both. I did have some dies way back when because I, it had to be the first year I was scrapping. I got the old, old red and white uh, uh, Sizzix die press thing, which I still have and weighs a ton. But yeah, um, I did get that the first year because my daughter paid half and she didn't scrap any longer than one year. As you've seen, my title is Easter Bunny Woes, because if you look at the pictures of the girls, they're not really enjoying themselves. They could not see what purpose there was of sitting with a bunny. They didn't like it near as well as I did. 
And if you look at the photo, you can tell that that was back when I could still dress them alike and get away with it. I'm cutting out Easter eggs with my Creative Memories oval cutters. That was like the third tool I ever bought. Uh, the first one was scissors, and then I got the corner punch thing from Creative Memories because I was going to parties. And then I got the whole cutting system. Loved, loved, loved it back then and still love it. I started to ink the edges of them with the Distress Ink. I think it's Broken China, but it was a little bit too dark and I didn't care for it. So I got Clover from Close to My Heart and that was a lot better. I used the striped and the squiggly um, paper to cut out my eggs because I thought that would give me enough variety. And now I'm cutting out the flowers, fussy cutting them out to put on there. But then I'm going to decide I need a little something more. I am going to punch out with my one of my favorite punches at the moment. <laughs> uh, the green leaves to go with my flowers. And generally I would ink them because I do that a lot. But since my grass isn't inked, I decided to skip that on this layout. And when I was punching the leaves, I punched them from the back. And I'm glad I did because I seen a bird and a heart that I fussy cut out. But here I am cutting out the eggs to go in with my other eggs. But I am going to make them in the, well, bunny eggs or eggs bunnies. They're going to be in disguise. These eggs are going to be in disguise. Or maybe it's the bunnies in disguise hiding in the middle of the eggs. But I am, um, that little chunk there, I'm going to be using it. And I took the flower and my, my eggs are going to be, you know, little bunnies. But they're not going to have really big bunny ears. I figured since they're in disguise that I could get away with just making them a little bit shorter. So they don't stand out quite as much. I clipped off two petals and then I'm going to pull out, well it's a branding strip. I looked over in the scraps and there was a little plaid branding strip in pink. So I am going to layer it behind the petals and just cut it a tiny bit smaller so it could be the center of the ears. And I'm going to glue the pair of ears <laughs> behind the top of the head and then I'm going to use a quarter inch punch and an eighth inch punch to do the eyes. I am going to do two however I'm only going to do one on screen but I thought I needed two to have one on each side of the photo. I didn't center the photo because I thought I'd do it kind of a little bit of an angle going down from the top corner to the bottom and put me a little tiny cluster up in the left top corner. I thought about taking a Sharpie to make the whiskers, but then I decided that that's why I cut that little chunk of turquoise teal off. I am going to cut me three strips for each bunny and then kind of crisscross them and make the whiskers. And the first bunny's eyes are going to look towards the picture. But then when I was doing the second bunny's eyes, I decided to make them look like they're just popped out. Like, you know, he got a little scared or in shock or something and looking straight ahead. But see on the layout how the eggs, even though I thought inking them would help them pop, just kind of blend in with the background. <laughs> I thought, well, if I go ahead and do a solid color egg, that would help. And I maybe even would have done another one if I hadn't thought about doing the punch art. And see the punch, uh, the punch over there to the right of the flower? That's the Martha Stewart one with the little hearts. And I did punch out two little pink clad hearts for the nose of the bunny. I forgot to mention that that picture is a 5 by 7 because way back when, if I only added one photo to my layout, I either did a 5 by 7 or I even did an 8 by 10. But yeah, this one's a 5 by 7 that I am scrapping today. And like I said, it does have those corners punched out already. I have not used those fancy little decorative punches in a long time. 
But while I had it out, I was thinking it might be good for like the edge, uh, the corners or something of a tag or something. I thought maybe that would be cute. So I might keep it out and go ahead and use it. But it was in my closet. Well, maybe today I should call that my time portal. <laughs> yeah, I go back in time every time I get in that closet and dig something out. But I have dug quite a bit out this past year since I'm not working. And this was a treasure to find because not only did I get a picture, which I did scan and copy because both girls need it in their scrapbook albums. <laughs> And so I do need to do another one for the other girl. And I might use actual Easter paper for it. Because I do have some now. I am adding the flowers and some I'm just adhering straight to the page. And other ones, of course, I'm putting a little bit of foam tape behind them. And I'm tucking in the leaves. I apparently only cut one flower out that had red in it. So it kind of hung off the page on purpose. So I could take the other half and put on the other side. But then, you know, I remembered the bird that was uh, that I fussy cut out and the heart. So I tucked the bird beside one of the bunnies. I mean, bunny eggs. <laughs> um, the cluster that's going to go up here at the top is going to have a couple of the flowers and leaf. And I'm going to cut that half a flower off. And then I get to thinking, if I don't go ahead and use it on this page, no telling how long it's going to sit there because this paper did sit a long time. So I am going to find a home for it. You'll see me try to put it a couple of places before I finally put it in a place that's going to stay permanently, which is right below the cluster up there at the top. I know the title don't show up really well on my screen, but it does show up really well in person. So, yeah, I'm happy with it. It's letters used on my layout that I have had for a long time. And I was worried I wasn't going to have enough ease, but I still had one left. I could have added one more word. Oh, and since it is Back to the Future, I thought I really need to add something that is current. I debated on enamel dots <laughs> and sequins. And then I decided I'd use the sprinkles because the eggs being on there and the eggs getting colored. And I love how the splatters turned out. You know, sometimes you like them better than others. Well, this is one of the times I liked them better. See how the edges are darker than the inside? Yeah, I love that. But that's my back in time layout for the back to the future theme. Yeah, started it way back when and finally finished it. I think it was just sitting there in the closet waiting on me. But yeah, check out the links below for all the other Back to the Future gals and see what they did with their take on Back to the Future. And check out the Punched Out Thursday to Die For gals and see what they did with their punches and or dies or both. And... Yeah, I only used my punches today, even though I did have a die cut machine way back when. But I didn't have as many dies. It took many years accumulation <laughs> to get the ones that I have. And punches. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And try the Back to the Future thing. Dig in your closet or portal of time. And see what you can pull out and do over, finish, or... Just play with a tool that you haven't played with in a long time. But have a happy, scrappy week. And if you leave a comment below, I'll get back with you. And if, oh yeah, leave a comment below if you use the decorative punches on the corner of your photos. Instead of just like maybe a corner rounder, use something decorative. Let me know down there below. And if you like the video and hit a thumbs up, I'd appreciate it. And if you are not subscribed to my channel, I'd love to have you subscribe. But take care and stay safe. Bye.